Hey YouTube, we're making Cracker Barrel Mock Chicken and Dumplings today. The recipe will be at the bottom in the comments section of YouTube. Uh, we're going to get started with adding 3 quarts of water to the Instant Pot, 2 tablespoons of Nor Bouillon, we're going to use 1 boneless skinless breast and 1 thigh with the bone and the skin on. You're not going to need any salt, the uh, Nor Bouillon has enough salt. Add some pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, put the lid on it, pressure it on high for 15 minutes. While that's cooking, we're going to start our dumplings. We're going to need two and a half cups of flour, teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, two eggs, and approximately about a cup of milk, more or less. You're going to add it slow because we just want a thick dough. You'll add your melted butter first, the two tablespoons of melted butter. And when you see your dough look kind of crumbly, you know it's time to add your eggs next. Once you've added your eggs, you're going to very, very slowly add the milk. If you'll watch the video, you can see that the dumplings start coming together and you'll actually see it pull away from the side. Uh, look at the mixer, the KitchenAid mixer. If you see this paddle in here, it has a little rubber attachment on the outside of the paddle and it cleans the sides for you. You can get those on Amazon for about 10 or 12 bucks. Once your dough has come together and formed a stiff dough, you're going to divide your dough in two, two batches and we're going to roll it out on a floured surface. I use a wooden cutting board uh, that I only use for doughs and pastries. No meat at all is put on this board. Uh, use a liberal amount of flour and it won't stick and you won't have problems rolling out your dumplings. Uh, when you roll out the first batch, cut them in one inch squares. You want it thin like a quarter of an inch. Uh, one inch is big enough because these dumplings are going to swell. Add a liberal amount of flour, push those to the side, do your second batch, do it all over again. Once you get that done, about, about this time your chicken is going to be done, you'll remove your boneless breast and your thigh, set it aside in a bowl because we're going to debone it and put it back at the end. Um, you'll press the saute cycle, get your dumplings back up to a rolling boil and we're going to start adding them in one at a time. Uh, when you pretty well cover the top, you can just use a wooden spoon and push them to the side. Make sure you spread them out all over the top and don't pile them on top of each other. If you'll do that, they will not stick together. Once you get all your dumplings in the pot, you're going to put the lid back on it. Put it on five minutes and pressure them on high again. Once they're pressured, while they're getting pressured, you're going to make a sauce. The sauce is really easy. It's two tablespoons of butter. You'll melt that in a saucepan and add a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Cook it like you're doing a roux. Add a dash of salt. Oh, you're going to reserve two to three cups of your broth out of your dumplings before you pressure them that you'll add back to the sauce. Once you get your brew cooked for a couple of minutes, you're going to add a cup of buttermilk. Use a whisk and incorporate it in and get all the lumps out of it and start adding your broth back to it about a cup at a time. Once it's real done and you're real smooth, when your dumplings are done, you'll pour the sauce over into the pan of the dumplings and stir it up and add your chicken that you've deboned and cut up in small pieces. Add that back, stir it up. You can probably let it stay on the warm setting for two to three minutes before it'll start sticking. If it does stick, see my cleaning video. It'll clean it really easy. It'll tell you how to clean it and you won't have to scrub ever in your instant pot if you'll use a cleaning video. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. Uh, join our channel, give us a thumbs up if you did. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. We'll be glad to answer any that we can. This is the Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.